Hello everyone. I do apologize. I have in front of me three or four different phones using different other people's phones. Got a brand new phone. You got to understand this is spiritual warfare. So, you know, um, I do apologize. There's nothing I can do, you know, um, but I'm going to keep getting on here. I'm going to keep trying. I pray that you can listen at that, that first video because it was powerful. I felt the spirit of God, but I want to tell you. <laughs> That spiritual warfare have heightened. Everything has, has heightened up. I'm talking about the transfers. is unbelievable. You're going to have to be strong in the Lord. It's time to fasting like never before. I'm telling you, pray like never before. Pray without ceasing. I'm telling you what to do. Praise God. Praise God. But I want you all to look at that movie Fallen. It was like in the early 80s. It talks about how demons flow, how they move, how they organize things, how they plan things. These are very, they're very, 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 very calculated systematically. And even the ones that, and notice it says spiritual wickedness in high places. So if it's spirit wickedness in high places, you have to understand what's going on here. Now, I'm going to try to put some, um, you know, try to redo the video a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm trying, okay, because... You know, I had already did it, and believe it or not, now I'm, I'm using the phone that I was reading some of the information on. So, But I was talking about how, just like we have to confess to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay, God, save us, then that's what they do. They ask Satan, take over me. I want, I want to have wealth. I want to have this. I want to have that. And I was also saying how they killed Michael Jackson so that Beyonce can be in, in the place she is today. Because Michael had stopped Michael had stopped dancing to their tune. If you look at the video to where he talks about Sony and he says, I'm, I'm not going to be with Sony anymore. They had lost Michael because Michael has started. I truly believe Michael has started praying somehow, somewhere. He was like, okay, maybe I missed it, but God helped me. You understand what I'm saying? But remember, his father had sold him a long time ago, you know, to the, to the industry and to everything. But all you have to do is just look at it right now. Look and see what's happening. The same position that Michael Jackson was in is the same position Beyonce's in now. So say the world's greatest performer, entertainer, but really with a hoodoo and a voodoo twist to it. That's why those people was cutting themselves that night. You cannot tell me that nobody's saying that well to where you're going to want to cut yourselves. That is necromancing at its finest. What is necromancing? You need to do the research. That's sorcery, high sorcery. In Ephesians, it says that we not battle. We do not battle against flesh and blood, but against wickedness in high places. So, what do you mean when God think, when God says high? That means people up here. You guys, there's only two kingdoms. And I know you think you're just going to work. Some of you are educated. You have your degrees. You know, you're doing everything that they say right. But what you're not understanding is God gave the devil this world. That's why he also says in the scripture, he says, love neither the world, neither anything in it. He says to love the world is enmity with God. That means you don't have a relationship with God. So what am I mm -hmm. saying? You cannot love God and the devil at the same time. And you Christians have been trying to do that for years and thousands of years. But a little bit of this mixing with a little bit of that. And what does the scripture says again? He says, you cannot serve God and mammon. So if you cannot serve God and mammon, that means you can't do it. That means you're unholy. So God is calling back his church to himself. In the churches today, that's why you're not seeing healing. That's why you're not seeing deliverance because people are not holy anymore. The devil sitting right there in the church. Come on, somebody. That's why, the, if you noticed what has happened. Instead of the church influencing the world, what has happened? The world have came in and influenced the church. Now you have people so worldly. You know how many Christians listen to Beyonce? And they don't listen to her because she sings great. They like the way she looks. They want to look like her. They like the way she talks. They want to talk like her. They like her life. Come on, somebody. So it's not, it's not all about what you think it is. It is all about the substance. Come on, somebody. Y'all want to be rich. Let's just be real. Money is the root to all evil. Y'all love that money, and most of you would do anything for it. But what you don't understand is it is a vie for your soul for real. I'm talking about God wants your soul. So he says, you know, take me as your Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. And Satan wants to snatch you from God at any cost. And he'll give you things that you want. You want that life? You want that life? Because if you want that life, he'll give it to you. For a certain price. And guess what the price is? Your soul. So don't come to me saying all that old crazy stuff. Because here's the deal. 
if you do not let me, oh thank you lord that's the way to do it if you don't understand spiritual things you have un, you don't even you don't understand what i'm saying if you do not know about spiritual warfare you know not what i'm saying so i'm trying to break it down i'm trying to break it down I'll do layman's terms i told you you know i'm gonna reiterate some things that i did in the last video because it was cutting off so bad why do you think they try to stop me? Why do you think that you guys have trouble hearing me? If I wasn't anointed and appointed to do this, I promise you the video would be so pure and clear and everything like it was in the beginning. They don't like me, and I don't like them. The feeling is mutual. They belong to the kingdom of darkness. I belong to the kingdom of God. Yes, Houston, we got a problem. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. And we're going to have one till this thing is played out. Hallelujah to his name. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And to be honest with you, the church better wake up. You better wake up because you got the devil right there in the church instead of kicking the devil out. And that's why people can't be healed and delivered because there's no anointing in the church anymore. Because now all y'all talk about is money, money, money. Y'all are not preparing the people. You know martial law is like right around the corner. You know because most of you have signed the FEMA things and you've had the secret meetings. Well, come on, I know. Let me tell you something. You know, I used to be Stevie Wonder's Chef, I still know people. You know, I used to work for the FBI. I still know people. So, with the spirit of God that's on me, the gift of propheticness, I think I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I would not have blood on my hands. I don't care what nobody say and I don't care what nobody do. I would not have the God's people blood on my hands. I'm going to say what God said to say. And I'm telling you right now, these people are not coming. These people are here in every state, every city. They call them ISIS. Y'all notice they, they, they use the Egyptian name. And let me tell you who made ISIS. Your own people. Everybody at the top. They made their ISIS. And you know who ISIS is compiled of? Russia, China. So don't let them fool you with this nuclear war stuff. Everything is written. Everything is planned out. They acting like they're against each other, but they're really for each other because that one world order is going down. As a matter of fact, it's already here, but it's on a subtle, it's on a subtle thing, right? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go all the way. Every policeman, do you understand what has happened? Has jurisdiction. Let me, let me ask you this. In each city that you're with, haven't you noticed that they used to stay in their own jurisdiction? Not everybody has jurisdiction. Y'all ain't even pick, y'all ain't even noticed that, huh? Come on, somebody. They're not even your regular police no more. They've all been militarized. But you, you guys don't know that because they ain't going to tell you that. Come on, somebody. We're talking about a one world order here that is getting ready to happen uh, at any day now. Of course, there's going to be a process in stages. With this month, I just did a video. I told you we're in a high level of demonic activity. October is their month to sacrifice. I told you, and I, again, I apologize to the family if they see this, or friends, and I'm not lying. That young man, T.C., the gospel rapper, I mean, the gospel singer, actually, from Georgia, he was sacrificed. I don't care what y'all say. Once God gives me insight, I say it. And I, I'm telling you, I've never lied in God's name, and I never will. And when God, you see, because I, I guess the reason why God used me, I'm not scared. I don't care. I don't care. And, and, and trust me. When I took the oath to God, when he asked me, you see, let me, let me tell you how this went down. It was 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was actually getting ready, and it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and God said, are you ready? I said, God, what are you talking about? I said, you know what I'm talking about. He was showing me things about the man in the office. I didn't understand it at first. I didn't. I have to be honest with you. I was like, well, I thought it was okay. When God showed me everything, it shocked me, but I'm going with God. So long story short. That morning, I will never forget that as long as I live. God woke me up, and I, I, if I felt like I was Peter. He said, Deanna, do you understand what you're saying yes to? I said, yes, Lord. He said, Deanna, do you understand what you're saying yes to? I said, yes, Lord. He said, Deanna, do you understand what you're saying yes to? He said it three times. He said, now it is written in heaven and on earth that you understand that your life will never be the same. You will not have no privacy. They're going to try to kill you, and they will kill you. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. And I said, yes, that's where I'm at. That's why I ain't afraid. I said, yes, I can't take it back and I don't want to. They can't. Uh, afraid of who? I live for God and I die for God. And I'm mad at the leaders. And I'm mad. It's a righteous man. Y'all so scared. Don't want to warn the people about martial law. 
Because you know you're going to lose your houses, your cars, and maybe your life. Because once you sign the name, they ain't just talking about their signature. They'll kill you and make it look like a suicide. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for the truth. Martial law is coming. And if you're in church at that time and your pastor have signed that FEMA thing, they locking them doors. And then you're going to see military come in and you're going to be like, well, why are they in the church? Everybody just stay calm. This is just a routine. Be, be very scared if you're in church when that happened because you're going to FEMA camps. I'm sorry. Let me clarify it. Only the real ones. Fake one, you ain't got nothing to worry about, honey. Go ahead. And I'm going to tell y'all something else that God is really upset about. Instead of preparing you guys and telling y'all the truth so your heart can be ready for it. Because a lot of your heart's going to fail. When this stuff happened, and I'm telling you, they have so much bad stuff planned. Do you know God showed me that so many people are going to take that mark because they're going to be scared? They, 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 you're not going to be able to purchase anything without it. No food, no water, no nothing. If you are not faith-filled and following the Lord thy God, you're going to take that mark. That's scary. You should be so sold out. So you should be getting your Bible line like never before saying, God, prepare me. God, keep me. I don't, I don't want to fail. I don't want to do that, Lord. That's where you should be. And that's what the pastors should really be teaching y'all right now. But they're not. They're still after money. And I think really they're trying to get their money up for them bunkers. Because it will be a World War III. It's going to be a race war. And not only that, they will drop a nuclear bomb. I'm telling it all. Y'all want to hear it? Y'all want to know what I have to deal with? God has released me. Let me tell y'all what our future is. Get some face first aid kits. Get some medicine. Start storing it up. Get lots of blankets. Because they're going to turn off the electricity, everything. You're going to think you're in a movie. You're going to think that you're in a movie. These people are coming cold and callous. I never thought I would live to see it. But I will. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I saw them with compounds. They really have, they, the people that is missing over the years that you thought was missing from families, they've taken these people from even children and they fed them just flesh. So that's why y'all hear about zombie movies. They're really zombies. They turned them people into zombies though. God didn't make nothing like that. Y'all understand what's getting ready to happen? They gonna, they, I see them with an 18 wheeler and they got it cleared out and they're going to do these things in almost every major city. You ain't going to be able to kill them normally. You're going to have to have a machete. So you better get you one. Several bullets real. And that's why I have this right here too. Uh, I'm going out all night tonight. You're going to have to get you some crosses. Because we're going back to biblical time. And you better well, wait a minute. The cross ain't going to work if you ain't got no power. <laughs> it's going to just be a cross. I'm not kidding. I've been wanting to do this, and I was wondering when God was going to do it, because I have, I've been having this for three weeks, and just now he said, grab the cross. You, you, you see it? You see it? It's, it? I'm serious. It's a wooden cross with three nails, because these are about the biggest nails that you're going to need. Now, you can pierce their heart, and, and even for an evil person. Going back in biblical times, come on, somebody. Didn't y'all see this stuff in the movies? They're getting ready to, to make it real. I know it sounds crazy. I know. I know. Trust me. When God tells me these things, I get think I got to go to sleep sometime and just like, God, just, just keep me strong. And, you know, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds like out of movies, but it is. It's true. This is his time. The Antichrist is about to rise in power. Or better yet, ain't no power, ain't no about to. He's rising in power. And so now, what are we going to, we're getting ready to have Armageddon. Where it's against us, against them. Now, most of us going to straight freedom camps. All forerunners, all forerunners, and I hope you're listening. We, I'm going to put myself, we will be killed. They, they're coming for us first. They're already watching us. They hear everything we say and everything we do. I'm ready. I hope you're all ready. Because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to get at the end and be acting like, no. I'm scared the devil is alive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you better prepare your heart as well. Come on, somebody. Y'all want real? Here's real. This is what we came to do. All we did was trade places with Jesus Christ. But y'all acting like y'all been having a party. Y'all acting like the, the, the children um, in Noah's time. Y'all Most of y'all want to drink, get high, have sex. And we're having a party. Party about to be over with. For everybody. 
<laughs> Y'all think it's a game. I'm serious. So yes, I get on here and say what does say the Lord. Because it might save somebody's life. Or better yet, it might deposit a spirit, not of fear, but of faith. And know that I better be ready. This ain't no game. Because it's not. And woe to you all you pastors, bishops, and all y'all that just want to be famous and, and save your own family. But don't care about the people of God. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. You think it's a game. God watching everything we say and do. Even me. Hello. I'm not exempt. But I'm going to do my part. I'm going to say what God said to say. And I'm going to do what God said to do. And yes, Beyonce, a witch. A high level witch. Come after me all the time in dreams, all kind of stuff. And that's one reason I come after. Now y'all know the truth. She's assigned to me and I'm assigned to her. End the story. And I ain't losing. She's not going to just take our young girls. She's not going to just make people kill themselves. The devil is a lie. And y'all keep saying, pray for her, pray for her. The woman don't want to be saved. That's what y'all don't understand. She, loved, she She has sold her soul. And she wanted to be the next Michael Jackson. And she is. You think she wants to give that up to serve God? Everybody don't love God. And I told y'all that in the other the other um, live video. I know y'all. I love God and you love God. Everybody don't love God. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. Because I feel the spirit of the Holy God. Hallelujah. Some people were destined for hell. Let me go ahead and, and, and break that down for you. Remember when God said, Pharaoh, I made you to destroy you. Can you see me now? Some people were made to destined for hell. Come on, somebody don't act like y'all don't understand. If you don't understand, you need to get in your Bible. And you need to ask God for wisdom and discernment. The church is so out of order. The church is so out of order. It, it, I really could just cry right now. The church is so out of order. It hurts. You just don't know. I have such a heart for God and his people. It hurts. They come against you. But you have to understand. You see, one thing about demons, they have to be invited in. Once you invite them in, they can have control. And that's what has happened. But God said, he said, my church, which he says, he said, I'm getting ready to cleanse out my church. That's why judgment is in the church right now. And truth be told, all real people, they don't even want to go to church right now. Because, you know, it's just too much. It's, it's what? Politics, um, too much sexism, too much um, sex. I mean, it's, it's not holy no more. It's like, a, it's like a club. And God is not pleased. But I'm going to tell you what they act like. Modern day Pharisees and Sadducees. They love to dress nice. They love to play the part. I'm talking about they sit up there all pompous and everything. And they ain't got no power. No power. Because they have traded their fame for the flame. What's the fame? The fire of God. For money. For status quo. Just so everybody can say, oh, oh, that's, that's Bishop. Oh, oh that's, I oh, can keep that. Keep that stuff. Because to be honest with you, what's getting ready to come, that ain't going to save you. You better know the voice of God in this last hour. Because when these people come, or better yet, when they rise up, because all they're waiting is for, that's all they're waiting for, y'all. It's a thumbs up. And I'm telling you, it's going to be like a movie. There's going to be so much death and mayhem. I'm telling you, prepare your mind, your soul, and your heart. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Prepare. I'm going to keep saying it as long as God allows me to. <sighs> Y'all better prepare. It's coming. I, I mean, I feel it so intensely. You just don't know. You know, I, I, I get this a lot where people are jealous of my gift. Like, I'm going to be real. They're jealous of the heaviness. And I say, Lord, they just don't know the tears I cry. <laughs> they don't know the pain I endure for when God tell me some things. And there's nothing I can do about it. Because judgment has been passed. And it's going to happen. I, I, I see a lot of you, well, what can we pray? You can't pray this away. This is revelation. And it's going to play out just the way God wanted to play out, people. Nothing more, nothing less. What is our position? To come back to God with a whole heart and let God fight for us. Because the battle is truly not ours. It is the Lord's. However, God chose Joshua, Caleb, Moses, Abraham, David. Come on, somebody. And he chose some of you. And he definitely chose me. So, what are we to do? Do our job. That's all. Your job is not what you think. And I'm going to tell y'all something too that's going to really mess y'all up. 
A job is what they've given you through the system. A work is what God told Adam to do. He said, I've given you a work to do. Even in Corinthians, I can, I can show you. And even do your work. You know what work is? Ministry. But most of you, you're still in that job. Because you, you love that house. You love that car. You, you, you love the perks and the works. Do you understand that all is, all is about to go? All of it. But to be honest with you, y'all love what y'all do. And I'm not condemning you. I'm not condemning you at all. I did it too. What I didn't do. Hallelujah. But I asked God to save me because I didn't want to die and go to hell. And I thank God. Because I did have some people praying for me as well. And I thank God for them. And to be honest with you, I thank God for the ones that came against me. Because you pushed me closer to my destiny. You made me go closer to my God. So I sincerely thank you. From the bottom of my heart. And some of y'all still doing that, so I thank you. Oh, I'm serious. I ain't, I ain't being funny. I really thank you. Because you pushed me closer. Knowing that I know I need God. That I can do this without God. And that's all I'm trying to do is push you closer to your God. Not at like I'm so great entity, because I'm not. But you're going to need God. What's getting ready to happen? I can't save you. Nobody could save you. Money can't save you. Bishop can't save you. Apostle can't save you. What's getting ready to happen? Only the Lord thy God gonna be able to save us. And if y'all don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. And if y'all think that we're not supposed to call out witches, y'all really crazy. I'm gonna call out that witch. And she ain't the only one. Kim Kardashian. Rihanna. Oprah. Yeah, y'all love Oprah too. Just because they black don't mean... <laughs> You know they got black demons, right? Maybe I should clarify that. Then you know they got black demons? Because y'all have the black demons only white. Like, like they preferred colors or something. <laughs> y'all better grow up. Y'all better grow up real quick. I'm serious. Alright. God bless you. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Repent. And if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, please, please repent. Please, please, please repent. Because that's another thing God told me to y'all. So many people are dying right now. God is calling them home. Are you ready? If God was to call you right now, tomorrow, the next hour, are you ready? And it's time to let your family know to stop playing, even if they don't receive it. If God moves your spirit to say something, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Don't, you, you don't see the signs of the times? All right, I love you guys. Roll out, soldiers.